Turning now to the trial of former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin. That is certainly now underway as we get ready for day two. Yeah, this is a case that has drawn worldwide attention and led to much civil unrest. We are getting some perspective from local leaders. We spoke to an activist yesterday and this morning, former police chief for the San Diego and Chula Vista Police Departments, David Bajarano, joins us live. David, thanks so much for being here. We really appreciate your time. Uh, Ned and Eric, good morning. Thank you for having me. Share with us your initial thoughts about the case, and then we can get into uh, what happened here yesterday. But your initial thoughts here. Well, again, it's uh, it's unfortunately the, the memory that all of us saw probably over and over again 10 months ago. It was awful, disappointing, shocking, uh, the uh, criminal behavior that we saw. And, and I did see the beginning of the trial yesterday regarding the opening statements. Uh, and as you mentioned, not only uh, the nation, but a good part of the world is probably watching that trial and will over the next three to four weeks. Uh, they'll be taking a look at police accountability, uh, racial justice. So uh, uh, again, uh, law enforcement, the community will be paying a lot of attention and should be for the right reasons. Mm -hmm. Now, you've been a law enforcement officer for 60 years, a long, long time here in our area. Uh, and what have you seen happen? I mean, this case... What has it done to the way police officers in the community are now getting along or not getting along? I mean, what has this caused? Well, fortunately for us in San Diego County, we have a history of really practicing the philosophy of community policing. We believe the community should be part of a police department and vice versa, police being part of the community. Uh, but we also understand that uh, many, many years ago, uh, we probably didn't do a good job of policing communities of color or communities. In the last year and a half, two years, I've seen a transformation, uh, reforms that I believe were needed uh, to try to close that gap, especially, again, between uh, police officers and communities of color. It's important to note that uh, we have a police officer, former officer, who's on trial, and that should take anything away from the, the great work that a number of police officers, almost every police officer and policing does in general. Uh, but I believe that uh, we are moving in a significant uh, direction uh, to have that better relationship and, uh, and better policing for the entire community. Because of incidents like this, there have been calls to defund the police. What are your thoughts on that? <laughs> Well, I, I don't believe we necessarily have to defund police departments. Most departments, and I work with uh, San Diego and Chula Vista, the U.S. Marshal Service, uh, there was never enough funding. Uh, we were understaffed. But probably what we need to do is maybe reallocate some of that money or, or put additional money in services. Uh, police officers, unfortunately, they're, they're, they're on call 24-7. Uh, but we really need some professionals with more expertise, more training, uh, to hands, answer calls involving homelessness, uh, you have a teenager who might be off medication, ha uh, having through some mental health issues. Uh, mm -hmm. You need a professional there, not necessarily a person, uh, a police officer, but again, allocate uh, some additional funding for professionals uh, uh, that probably don't require a law enforcement response. And that allows officers, free up officers for 911 calls but also put more professionals with more expertise uh, to handle some of these calls to sometimes lead to a deadly encounter now, Mr. Uh, Bajarano, between members of our community. In yesterday's day one of the trial, you know, on Derek Chauvin's side, they said that he did what he was trained to do. What is your response to that? Well, their training must be quite different from, uh, from what I've seen in San Diego County and during my service throughout the state as a uh, my association with the California Chiefs Association. Uh, and again, that, that the video is overwhelming. I believe that evidence. Obviously, there's going to be key witnesses there to put some context to that video. But uh, it seemed like the uh, Mr. Floyd uh, was not resisting. Uh, we've all heard it 27 times. I can't breathe. They're sort of, they should have provided some, uh, some medical attention. And for that need to be choking an individual, uh, Again, their training might be quite differently, but I believe a good portion of the police profession believes uh, that was not appropriate to say the least. That was criminal behavior, and that's not the training that our officers received or have received in the past. David, thanks so much for your time here and your insight here this morning. We appreciate it.
Good morning. Thank you. Thank you. And we will also throughout the trial be giving you perspective from our local community leaders, other local community leaders. Tomorrow we will be talking to a community activist. So stay with News 8 for complete coverage of the trial of Derek Chauvin. We'll be covering the trial right here, CBS 8, and our sister station, the CW San Diego. You can also follow us for updates across our social media platforms on the News 8 app as well as CBS8.com.